day 102 of the Daily Stoic. If you want to learn, be humble. Quote, throw out your conceited opinions, for it is impossible for a person to begin to learn what he thinks he already knows. Epictetus Discourses 2.17.1 of all the Stoics, Epictetus is the closest one to a true teacher. He had a school. He hosted classes. In fact, his wisdom is passed down to us through a student who took really good lecture notes. One of the things that frustrated Epictetus about philosophy students, and has frustrated all college professors since time began, is how students claim to want to be taught, but really secretly believe they already know everything. The reality is that we're all guilty of thinking we know it all, and we'd all learn more if we could set that attitude aside. As smart or successful as we may be, there is always someone who is smarter, more successful, and wiser than us. Emerson put it well, Every man I meet is a master in some point, and that I learn from him. If you want to learn... If you want to improve your life, seek out teachers, philosophers, and great books is a good start. But this approach will only be effective if you're humble and ready to let go of the opinions you already have. I like to tell people that I have strong opinions weakly held. And I, I think it's not a, a perfect statement but I think it espouses a very simple point, is that I will fight for that idea. Given, generally, the knowledge, the data, the experience, and as much peripheral information that I can gather about this particular opinion or this particular point, and I will fight that with all the information that I have. However, weakly held is the idea that if you come with come to me with better data, more information, context that changes the trajectory of my thinking, maybe even introducing a new model or a new framework or a new idea or, or, or thought experiment that expands my context, expands my horizons and optionality around this point, then I will concede. I will concede the idea as it has evolved. And what is important to remember for all of us is that your opinions, my opinions, have all evolved over time. Mostly our opinions about things have evolved based on experience. We have lived longer now. I think there's a reason why the our elders, right, our grandparents, are so chill about so many things. Because they've seen this before. They've been through the ups and downs. They've been through the cycles. And this is just another one of those, right? And so that's why grandparents can are like, I think if you, the stereotypical grandparent, I guess, to me, is a person who is stoic, not by rigorous training of stoic philosophy. They're stoic because they've been through it. They got 80 years of history. You know, they don't need to react to nothing anymore. Right. And in many ways, they're not on the hook for all a whole lot anymore anyway. But I think that's 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 the whole idea. And that's and I think that's it's well, at least for me, it's important for me. <laughs> To be open to the opportunity that I could be wrong, that I and I've been corrected in many cases. And what's what's great about being online and and being as transparent as I can uh, to people online is you guys always correct me. <laughs> so it's great. I have a, a, a an amazing feedback loop. So if you want to learn, be humble. I guess the question. For you today is what other areas are you studying what other areas are you growing what other areas are you leveling up improving your life
See you in Discord, MetaFam.